Hello everyone, welcome back to Fight Age channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. The current WBC Heavyweight Boxing World Champion Tyson Fury rated his performance below average in a 10-round boxing match against Francis Ngannou, who last weekend narrowly won by a split decision, having been knocked down in the third round. It wasn't my best performance, but I'm not going to make excuses, the prudent said in an interview. I had a good training camp and I have no one to blame. It was a thought fight and I had to work hard to win it. Yes, I performed below average, but I don't want to belittle the merits of my opponent. You are as good as the opponent allows you to be. This is a fact, Tyson said. In no case, it is about underestimating the opponent. If I had listened to the press and the so-called experts who said that this was an easy fight for me, I would not have won it. I trained for 12 weeks and prepared as well as I could. We didn't know how good Francis was. We didn't have any records. We didn't see his fights as a boxer. And he turned out to be an even more uncomfortable opponent than I thought. He didn't go forward. He acted on counterattacks and I give him credit. He showed himself better than all the other boxers over the past decade. It was probably my hardest fight in many years. As I said, I have no one to blame, only myself. No coach, no manager, no corners, just myself. It's a fighting game, it happens. On the other hand, I have earned it well and my next fight will be for the title of Absolute World Champion maybe. So it's not that bad, Tyson said. Cameroonian next UFC champion Francis Ngannou, who competitively lost his debut in the boxing ring to the world's top heavyweight Tyson Fury, could now fight Anthony Joshua and an ex-boxing champion. Such a show could be organized by replying one of the greatest boxing fights of the 20th century, according to the British promoter Reddy Hearn. Rumble in the Jungle is a duel between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman, held on October 13, 1974. Ali won by knockout in the 8th round. The day before yesterday, Nigano managed to send Fury to a knockdown in the 3rd round, but Tyson was able to continue the fight and bring it to victory on points. Now Eddie Hearn said, Francis Nagano vs Anthony Joshua, maybe maybe, rumble in the juggle in second fight, one of the biggest fights in the history of the sport, the functionary said. And I promise you this, with all due respect to Francis, but this will be an easy job for my boxer. Early, Hearn had already talked about the option of Nagano's fight with Joshua. He claimed that his words would deal with Francis in no more than three rounds. British promoter Eddie Hearn shared his expressions of the happy boat that took place in Saudi Arabia between world champion Tyson Fury and the new professional ex youth champion Francis Nagano. The promoter criticized Tyson's performance and didn't miss the opportunity to tell the public how his war Anthony Joshua would destroy both. In general, there was one guy in the ring who had never boxed before, and another who looked like he had never boxed before. As a result, the absolute newcomer. By all accounts beat Tyson Fury, he just beat the lineal heavyweight champion of the world, no matter how weird it sounds. Hearn stated, Nagano just beat him, need a rematch or just let Anthony Joshua and Fury's career. Six rounds is all we need, said Eddie Hearn. I've already sent messages to who needs it. As for me, it's a very easy fight to organize. I know that the audience will gladly accept such a duel, but I need to talk to AJ. He wants to win back the world title, but we need 6 rounds on Fury and 3 rounds on Gano. Hearn said. Anthony Joshua wipes the floor with Tyson Fury after a baffling performance against Francis Nagano, says Eddie Hearn. He will knock him out inside 6. Anthony Joshua wipes the floor with Tyson Fury. AJ vs Tyson Fury should be next on the list of boxing's biggest fights to make, according to Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn. Hearn, the chairman of Matchroom Boxing and one of the sport's leading promoters, has been campaigning for a clash between the two Britons for several years. Having labeled a potential clash between Joshua and Fury as the biggest fight in British history boxing, Hearn recently stated that the time to organize the happy boy boat was now. In the wake of Fury's controversial win over Francis Ngannou, Eddie Hearn shared with Boxing Social what his thoughts on a possible fight between Joshua and the Gypsy King. I don't know what the world fight took out of Yuri, but I'm telling you now, and I've told you before, and the people will love me. Anthony Joshua beats Tyson Fury every day of the week, and twice on a Sunday. He will knock him out inside 6 rounds, and we are in the danger of not getting that fight. So I'll tell you what, just scrap everything and make AJ against Fury now. 
and I'm telling you now, AJ will beat him comfortably and he will stop him and he will finish his career. Here inside. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.